Hello everyone, this is Charles Wallingford back again with another cigar pairing and today we have the Cabarate in Maduro. This is a nice box press cigar. You know how much I like box press and how much I love Maduro cigars and this is right up my alley. It's going to be paired alongside of Kelt VSOP Cognac. As you can see I've really gotten into this one. It's a good, it's a, it's a damn good um, spirit, but I've been experimenting and I think I have a good pairing. All right, we're gonna let this cigar heat up and we'll get back to you once we're really in the first third. All right, we're back in the first third and let me tell you about this cigar. Now, this is again a Maduro and it has the, the flavors of dark chocolate it has the flavors of spice. Can't really pull the spice out. The dark chocolate is the more dominant feature. Of course, you have that typical cigar uh, premium tobacco flavor that's coming through also. And let's talk about the cognac here. This is Kelp, VSOP. Quick thing about Kelp, Kelp is special because all the Kelp has been after it's been around the world. They actually ship this around the world as far as this aging process after after they uh, put it in barrels. And they were, it's believed that the flavor is enhanced by the movement of the ship. And I guess it's pretty good. Now what is special about the, the uh, kelp? It's not, it, it's, it won't be a cigar that's, I mean, it won't be a cognac that blows your socks off but it does have a, a viscosity that you will not find usually in a BSOP. This BSOP is, has, is much thicker and that's great to have that on the palate while you're, while you're um, having a cigar. Also, the alcohol burn is, is, a, is above average for a BSOP also. So this combination is basically that raisinette and the raisinette or the raisin covered with chocolate, chocolate covered raisins. That's the basic of the basis of this combination. If you haven't seen many of my videos before, I always try to relate it to food, and that is what this combination is going with. Another thing, when you have a cigar of this length, this is the Churchill length. When you have a cigar of this length, you want to make sure that you have something to drink with it. It will keep the cigar from getting uh, too mundane or it keeps your palate from falling asleep. Smoking a cigar this long, which is going to be at least an hour and a half, given that you, given that you won't have too much transition, your, your palate will fall asleep. So make sure you have something, it doesn't have to be this kelp, something to, to uh, wake up your palate or keep your palate guessing so that it, your, your palate just won't fall asleep and you just be smoking tobacco. All right, right now, what do I take out of this? Will this be a perfect pairing? Not sure. It's working out good. I'm not gonna put myself out there yet. This isn't one that's gonna blow my socks off. This is just one that's really nice and a, a nice experience. So let me get to the second third before I make that uh, decision. All right, guys, we're back. We're back in the second third, and this is shaping up really nicely. I've had this cigar a couple times, and I am not surprised with what I'm experiencing, but I'm just really happy with what's coming out. All right. Like any, any cigar, the first third tells you a little bit of the tale. The second third really tells you the full story of what's taking place. There has been a development in flavor and that's great. I'm getting more of a toasted nut flavor coming through. Um, some sweetness is coming through the back end and of course throughout you're going to have that dark chocolate flavor. And it's really being enhanced by this cognac. The cognac is enhancing all those flavors and what does that mean? It means perfect pairing. And nothing's better than a perfect pairing. 
Now this isn't not this is not one of those knock your socks off perfect pairing. No, perfect pairing is great. Don't get me wrong. It's just not one of those high 90 point perfect pairings. Oh, also I forgot to mention, this cigar has smoothed out a bit. It was slightly harsh, of course, first lightning. And then being in the first third, it has really smoothed out a lot coming into the second third and being in the second third. And most likely on the last third is gonna be pretty smooth with intensified flavor. All right, let's go into summary. Villager Calabarete, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Villager. I think it's Villager, I'm not sure. I've looked around, looked for uh, the correct pronunciation. I think it's Villager. The Calabarete Maduro is exactly what I wanted to be. It's working out awesome. And mixed with this cognac, it just works out really nicely. That's number one. So what is this rating? I give this rating a 92, a 92. The, the top would be, of course, 100. No, it's not 100, it's not blowing my socks off. It's a wonderful experience, but it's not blowing my socks off. And you will like it. Now, why did I come up with this pairing in the first place? It's because of the cost. The kelp is inexpensive. This VSOP will be no more than $35, around $30, and right now, the, uh, the Cabarete Maduro, you can find this at an absolute bargain, something you would buy a whole box of. You can buy a box for around $35 on some sites. Hopes I actually found at around $39, $35, $39 for a whole box of 20. Can't beat that with a stick. I tell you, go out and get some and uh, put it away and let it age. I imagine this would be really nice age. I think I have quite a few because I bought quite a few because I found an awesome deal with these. I'm probably going to do another video maybe a year or two from now with this cigar age. It might be absolutely awesome. So go out and try to find it. All right, guys, I hope you like this video and I do enjoy the time I spend with you guys making this video. It is, I'm so happy and blessed that I'm able to spend this time having a great premium cigar, having a premium uh, distilled beverage alongside of it and doing it in front of you guys. Again, if you have any questions, don't forget to put it in the comment or you can also um, email me directly at charles.wallingford at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button. And always have a saying at the end, these videos. Hey Matt Stevens, I'm gonna miss you buddy.